So I get on the train yesterday. I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, Man City play Tottenham tonight, Arsenal. You know, what are they going to do in the window? Looking ahead to Man United, got a busy day. Boom, Lando Trossard, out of nowhere, advanced talks. I'm thinking, okay, fair enough. Arsenal being active. And I've talked about my thoughts on the Leandro Trossard deal on the AFTV Live. The Yeso Cecil, go check that out. Get on the train this morning. Okay, we've got to do a breakdown, Leandro Trossard. That came a little bit out of nowhere. Let's do a little breakdown. Let's sort of explore the play. I'm sort of getting my notes together. Suddenly, we're, we're, you know, we're linked. We're, we're very close to signing a centre-back, a Polish centre-back called um, Jakub Kivior. I'm not going to pretend I'd heard of him. I hadn't. I'm going to be very honest. We're going to do a little bit of on-the-spot research today. Get on the train. The first, the first uh, person to bring the news is um, journalist, sports reporter Tomat uh, Vlodarczyk. I hope I've pronounced that right. And I'm not going to lie, I was very skeptical. I mean, earlier in the window, someone said we were really close to signing Evan Indica. Back to my notes. Back to Leandro Trossard. All that. What do we know about the player? Let's build a little bit of a breakdown, which we will see a little later on the channel tonight. And then out of nowhere, Fabrizio Romano. This was 49 minutes ago. Arsenal are closing in on a deal to sign Polish centre-back Jakub Kivior from Spezia. Here we go soon. We all know that here we go means yeah, it's no going back from that. Fee in excess of 20 million euros. 20 million. Medical test could take place this week. Deal very advanced. He then credits uh, Tomas, as I mentioned before. All parties hope to get deals so uh, sealed soon. 20 minutes ago. Arsenal have completed the signing of Yavko Kivior. Here we go. Contracts are being signed with Spezia. Fee in excess of 20 million euros with add-ons. Understand Kivior has agreed personal terms on a five-year deal. Medical will be completed in the next 48 hours. It's done. I mean, the life of covering this football club <laughs> from, from months and months of pursuits for Mudrik and the Rafinha stuff last summer to in two days, two signings have absolutely nowhere. Now, I think Trossard had been loosely linked. Credit to, um, credit to TalkSport, who I think did actually say in the days before, then Alex Crook said that um, Trossard was a target. That sort of happened within a couple of days. And now we've signed a centre-back. What do we know about this guy? A left-footed centre-back who is 22 years old, plays in Italy, in Serie A, for Spezia. Uh, it is, yes, it is Serie A. I've just got it here. I will be doing a lot of on the, spe on the spot research. Apologies. I uh, did go to the World Cup. Can cover as a holding midfielder, as a left back and as a centre back. Six foot two. YouTube tells me he's good on the ball. <laughs> Yes, YouTube. That's that's where we are at the moment in our understanding of what I know of the play. And I don't mean to be disrespectful. I, I, I My focus really is on the Premier League. And then, of course, I follow the Europa League, the Champions League and some leagues across Europe. But I wasn't familiar. Now, I've got plenty of friends, Arsenal fans, who did know of Jakob Kivio, are excited about this deal. think it's a very smart bit of business. We're spending about 20 million quid on it. You know, this is not on him. Sorry, this is a this is a, a serious sum of money that's being spent to add depth to our centre-back position. Now, again, let's have a little look at what I said about his player profile. 22, he's about six foot two, six foot three, left footer. This is cover for Gabriel. We've been linked with Evan Indica. Lissandra Martinez, we wanted in the summer, can play centre-back and at left-back. Would have offered cover in two areas. You know, Pablo Mari was, I think, Mikel Arteta's first ever signing at Arsenal. And then he brought in Gabriel about five months after that. So we know that he's always wanted two left-footers in the squad. It didn't work with Pablo Mari. And he's sort of been able to just kind of get by, what with holding Saliba, Tomiyasu sometimes covering. Um, but it looks like we've got another bit of depth in the defence. And... We've heard lots of rumours that Cedric could be off. So, OK, you're looking at White, Tommy Asu as your right backs, holding Saliba, Gabriel Kivior and Zinchenko and Tierney. That is, that's eight players for four positions. That's a really nice amount of depth. And, of course, there's other ways that you can sort of mix up the squad as well. We've known Saka's played at left back before and whatever. So, Arsenal are covered, certainly, in defence for the rest of the season now with this signing. There have been loose links to a right back called uh, Fresneda from Valladolid. I'm not going to go into them too much. Um, but there were sort of rumours that maybe that could be a deal we do. But I think with Kivior coming in, that is sort of the one that will give the go-ahead for Cedric to sign for Fulham, who had been linked as well. So, we'll see if that goes ahead. Um, but, wow, from doing... Not nothing, because we knew they were chasing Mudrik, but from doing, um, you know, very little and, and tentatively moving towards that one big signing it seemed Arteta wanted, Arsenal and Edu have hit the red button 
and are now sanctioning signings for players that are going to really add some impressive squad depth. And I say impressive squad depth because, I mean, you've got to assume it is just for the fees we're paying. Again, 25, 26, 27 million for Trossard, 20 million for Kivior. That's about 47 million. And we've not even started the conversation around central midfielders. So you've got to think that Arsenal really believe these players can have a serious impact. You know, we've still got the FA Cup tie against Man City and we've still got the Europa League, which is going to be two legs of football if we want to go all the way. And I know that all focuses on the Premier League and the title race, and rightly so, of which we still have 20 games to play there. Um, but let's try to get all the silver where we can. Let's try to be competitive across all these competitions. And a player like Kivio, I think, definitely gives us that opportunity. Um, trying to think what else there is to say on this. I mean... Of course, we will do a breakdown. We will try to research the player in more detail. Anyone in the comment section that does know, has been watching Serie A closely, has been watching Polish football closely and follows Jakub Kivior, please let us know in the comment section. This very much is a breaking news video just to let you know what Arsenal are doing in the market. Romano did say, in fact, I think I saw it earlier this morning, that Arsenal are targeting a midfielder um, as well as another signing. So maybe two players. I think he's, did he say a right back or... Uh, let me just quickly check my notes. I think he said a right back <laughs> and, and a midfielder, and he's neither. <laughs> so I don't know what madness Edu is doing. Just a reminder that people were joking about Edu uh, going to Poland where they thought he was off to complete the Mikhailo Mudrik deal. And everyone was saying, hold on, Chelsea flew to Turkey to get that deal done. So what on earth was he doing in Poland? Looks like this is what he was doing. He was maybe getting a deal done for Jakub Kivior. Let me just have a little look. Why do I tweet so much? Bloody hell. Um... Romano, who broke the trust on news, says the midfield is wanted. Okay, so I, didn't, I don't know if he confirmed it was definitely a right back. Where do we go? Where do we go? Got a little bit of a transfer history on him as well. Before he joined Spezia, he was at MSK Zelina. He's actually in the Anderlecht under-21s as well. Uh, oh, that's interesting. No, it's not interesting. For a second, I thought Stoivenberg was at Anderlecht, but I don't think he was. So ignore me on that. Okay, all right. I have no more to add on that. This has just been an absolute whirlwind from no signings to two in a combined matter of probably five hours of reporting across these two players and two signings are through the door. Arsenal are really speeding things up. It's clear that Mudrik was the number one target. It's clear that there's money in the bank and they were willing to go a long way because they felt Mudrik could be that difference maker. They couldn't get it done. Okay, what's your plan B? Let's invest and add depth to this squad. And fair play, Edu and the department, everyone involved, whether that be... Tim Lewis, Richard Garlic, whoever it is. And of course, we know Mikel Arteta gets involved in transfers as well. They are absolutely doing what they can to add depth to the squad. So well done to them. Well done, Arsenal. Another player through the door. We will do a breakdown. We will research this a little bit more. And there will be a live. I think there's a live later on today. Uh, but I will double check and let you know in the comment section um, where I'm sure this will be discussed in more detail. But of course, we'll keep you across it all here on AFTV. Poor Robbie had only just finished recording Transfer Daily. And this comes out. The mad world of Arsenal. Eh? Catch you on the next one. Hit the like button to welcome our new signing and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so you can get all the latest updates big thank you to everyone well done Arsenal and welcome to Arsenal Jakub Kivio shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk subscribe to us on YouTube follow us on Instagram Facebook Twitter TikTok Snapchat and Twitch we've got content for every platform so check it out